played a vital role in the desegregation of schools is in the Valley this week. Minnie Jean Brown Tricky was a part of the Little Rock Nine. In 1957, nine African-American students were enrolled in Little Rock Central High School. They were the first minorities to enter into the all-white school. One of the nine was Minnie Jean Brown. So it's really a pleasure for me to go into a schoolroom and see cultural variety. That's a gift. That's a gift. That broadens our thought, broadens our minds. Every October, she comes to Youngstown and works with Mahoning Valley Soldier into the past. This year, she was a speaker at the Nonviolence Rally downtown. I come here because I love those kids. I've seen them thrive and succeed. And this, this initiative of the Nonviolence Week is one of the things. Monday, she was at Flambeau's Live on Market Street for the Mingle with Minnie event. It was a way for her to socialize and get to know members of the community. The event was also a fundraiser for Sojourn to the Past. The proceeds will help students who will embark on a 10-day journey where they learn about the history of the Civil Rights Movement. When you read your history book, you're reading what somebody else wrote about what happened. So when she's there, you are hearing from the source exactly her experiences and what happened and so it, it is it's a wonderful opportunity an amazing experience she said of all the sojourns to the past locations in the country the students of youngstown have done a great job putting their lessons into actions over the almost 20 years we've taken at least 10,000 students to sites in the south and the most comprehensive best ex executed, best thought out project for social justice action to so Youngstown students. Tricky will be visiting local schools throughout the rest of the week where she'll be speaking with students, giving them a firsthand history lesson. For more information on the Little Rock Nine, read the article below. Reporting for WKBN 27 First News Online, Jennifer Rodriguez.